Ladies and gentlemen, if you have ever stumbled upon Todoist, we're going to have a look at the free version and we're going to compare it to the paid version and see which one you should actually be using and if the paid version actually has any value in it. So let's dive in. So having a look at the interface, it's pretty straightforward and I like straightforward and easy to use apps because of course this is the reason we use these apps. So as you can see on the left hand side you've got your menu which basically allows you to see all of the items that are available for your actual note taking applications. So let's have a look here on the left hand side going into our profile we can see over here we've got project so once you create a project you can add um, templates so let's create a template here you can see that these templates are actually free to use now that's one of the first features that you would like to take note of having a look at something else over here um, if you go into your profile name and go to settings you want to go to the backup drive now if you're using this application only on one device then it makes sense to not have to upgrade because you'll not need the cloud-based storage because you won't be sharing it between device to device. One of the other things is the themes. Now if you go into themes over here you can see that you've got a couple basic themes and that's fantastic but if you want some of these pro themes such as the kale, blueberry, lavender and raspberry you will need to upgrade. You also need to upgrade if you want to add any team members. So as you can see here, you can add a team member, but if you go over to the pricing breakdown, your team members will only be able to be added if you have a business plan. Okay, so here you'll have to spend that $6 a month. One of the next things that I would like to talk about is the reminders that you get on a daily basis. Now, if you are getting reminders, then it's okay to get reminders on the day that your task is due. Now, that's all right in the free plan, but when you have the upgraded plan, you'll be able to receive these reminders before the time. And if you're forgetful like me, this is a great feature and I wouldn't actually mind paying a bit of money for that because that means I get reminded a day before the time or whenever you set your reminders to remind you. So having a look at the actual breakdown, you get five personal projects, you get a quick ad, you get flexible lists and board layouts, you get three filter views and you have one week activity history. You can also integrate emails, calendars and a bunch of other things with the free plan. Now if you want to upgrade you do get a whole lot more for four dollars as well as six dollars and to be quite honest four dollars is really not a lot of money when you're considering all of the extras that you are getting. However if I was to use this product on a daily basis I would opt for the pro version because it's just got a couple more things for me within that package and I really don't think four dollars a month is too much. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. We'll see you in another awesome video. Stay organized. Peace.